Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 30th, 2016. So, so many things happening in the sky. We start with a moon in Leo, trining Mars and Saturn in the morning time in Europe. It's a very energetic time. It's a great time to take things forward, to move through life swiftly and energetically, to utilize this time to move forward any boulder that needs moving forward in our life. It's a good day for physical activity. It's a good day for work. It's a good day in career terms. What we do have to be careful with is not being too locked on our targets and not being flexible enough. There's a Queen Kongs to Pluto today, and that means that we need to know how to update our charts according to how the road changes and knowing how to update our goals according to how the situation changes and knowing how to um, how to digest new information coming from the outside and not remain um, blocked to it. Mercury, the planet of communications, of our mind and navigation, of thoughts and words is starting to move in retrograde movement for the next three and a half weeks and what and what promises to be a very powerful retrograde this time so of course we can experience the regular themes of a mercury retrograde like communication failures and so on and so forth uh, time schedules being mixed up delays and and things like that but and of course, this is not a good time to make any life-changing decisions, to sign contracts, to buy cars or vehicles, and so on and so forth. But it is not a time to stop our life. You know, many astrologers say, hey, it's a Mercury retrograde. Let's just uh, stay inside and, and close all the lights and hope that things will be okay. No, we can't stop living. If we do need to sign a contract, we'll sign it. If we need to buy a car, we'll buy it. If we need to fly abroad, we'll fly abroad. We'll just make sure that we'll have enough buffer time to change flights because we'll be extra careful. And that extra careful is a key word. If we're buying a car, we'd look extra carefully on all the smallest details. We'd We'll look extra carefully under the hood and on the past owners and so on and so forth, including when signing contracts or making any long-term decisions because our thought processes and the way we navigate through life is not working as usual. So we need to be extra careful with what we do. That does not mean we need to stay immobilized. <clears throat> Venus, the planet of relationship, love, satisfaction, and monetary funds, is... Uh, uh, finally going into Libra, it's domicile, feeling much better in Libra and we would all, we can all enjoy in our relationships and in the way we provide satisfaction to ourselves in our lives, we can feel a weight lifting in a sense and much more harmony and aesthetics and an easier time. Hello Georgia, how, how are you? Good, so you can come, yeah. But Libra is also connected to an acute sense of lack. I get a sense of lack regarding what I'm missing so I could have a better equilibrium in my life. So in that time, in the next few weeks, we could be very much in touch with what we need to change in our relationships or regarding the way we satisfy ourselves or drawing monetary funds into our lives in order for us to be more satisfied. Mars is still squaring the nodes. This is a time, this is a watershed line time. This is a decision time. This is a time in which our actions count. Bye, Georgia. She's not feeling well. She has a bit of a cold. Anyway, uh, this is a watershed line. This is a time that our actions count and could either entangle us or um, help us really get forward in our life and leave a lot of things behind. So, thank you for listening and I hope you're going to listen to my special reports regarding September and the solar eclipse and I'll see you all soon. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.